I hesitate to tell you the third thing that we use to drive oxen. The biggest difference between driving horses and driving oxen is that oxen aren't driven with reins. There's no bit in their mouth and there are no lines that come back to them. Um, although that is done some places in the world, uh, traditionally oxen are driven from along the left side of the animals and they're controlled using a stick. Um, sometimes it's a solid stick called a goad stick. Um, I kind of like to use a little buggy whip and you do three things to control them. The first thing is your body position. If I would like to, the animals to turn this direction, I have to somehow either move backward or outward to get them some space. If I want them to move this direction, I need to move either forward and across to crowd them a bit to create a, an impetus to move that way. Uh, if I want them to stop, I stop. If I want them to go, then the motion of my feet moving forward usually tells them that. So body position is probably the most important thing we do. The second thing, I need a couple of hats to demonstrate uh, anything behind the shoulder when we're driving with the stick is a green light, that means go. And anything ahead of the shoulder is a red light and that means slow down or stop. And so when we're using the stick, any tap that's behind the animal, behind the shoulder of the animal, usually encourages them to move forward. And any tap that's either in front of the animal, on their knees, anywhere ahead of the shoulder, encourages them to slow down. I hesitate to tell you the third thing that we use to drive oxen, um, and that's voice command. And I hesitate to tell you because I always kid around with students that if we could convince them on day one of an ox class that the animals were deaf, they'd be better off because then they would really concentrate on driving with their body position very clear and their stick very clear. And in fact, it's a good tip for when you're driving to drop out one of those three cue systems. Drive only with the stick and your voice or drive only with body position and the stick. Um, and then it allows the animals to really have to figure it out and it, it calms them down a bit because they have to do a bit of problem solving to get them to, to understand what you mean. So to make the animals take a step forward, we tap them behind the shoulder, step up, we move our own feet, whoa, to make them stop, we stop our own feet and we show them the stick in front of them. To make the animals make a left hand turn, uh, the command is haw and so I need to back up and get out of the way of this animal, slow this one down and speed that one up. So I say Brutus, haw, Cassius, haw, and I just, the more I back up, the tighter I can make this turn. An oxen can basically turn around in the space that they occupy, so they can make a very tight turn for something like logging in the woods. So I've got our hats set up to make a right hand turn or a G turn, and so the voice command is G. You can see that Cassius has got a slow down, so I need to show the stick in front of his shoulder. Brutus has got a hat back here, he's got a green light, so he needs to be sped up, and I need to move into their space to make the G turn. G, G. G. And the more I crowd them, the tighter we can make this turn. G, G, G. And by really crowding him in, I can even make him sidestep. G, but he's...